Hello, and thanks for clicking by. Whether you frequently run ELISAs and Western blots in your lab, or you just have a curious scientific mind, from Mega's newest innovation, the Lumid immunoassays, will surely interest you. Please let me briefly illustrate why. Here you can see the workflow of a traditional ELISA, which, similar to Western blotting, is a heterogeneous multi-step process that involves all these tedious washing and incubation steps. All in all, a pretty lengthy procedure that can take up to one or two days. By developing the Lumid immunoassays, we could significantly simplify that procedure by eliminating most of these steps. Because we work in solution, we were able to remove the coating and the blocking steps. Furthermore, we got rid of all the washing steps. And finally, we combined the two separate antibody addition steps into a single addition of an antibody mixture, so that by the streamlining of the assay workflow, we were able to develop an assay that can be accomplished much faster in only 30 to 120 minutes. Besides being easy and fast, Lumid immunoassays are characterized by a large dynamic range, which mitigates the need for sample dilutions. These assays are also scalable to different plate formats, and together with their homogeneous nature, this is what makes them amenable to high throughput applications. Importantly, no specialized costly equipment is required to run these assays, only a standard plate reading luminometer. What we offer are first of all ready-to-use kits for specific targets, but also reagents that allow you to build your own Lumid immunoassay. But what is the principle of these assays? Lumid immunoassays are based on a split variant of Promega's bright nanolac luciferase, the so-called nanobit luciferase. For the development of nanobit, Nanolac was split asymmetrically into a large subunit called large bit and a small peptide subunit called small bit. The affinity of small bit for the large bit counterpart was optimized to yield only minimal self association, as evident from a high KD value of 190 micromole. These subunits are chemically fused to antibodies of interest. Binding of these two labeled antibodies to different epitopes on the same analyte now allows for reconstitution of the functional nanobit luciferase. In presence of the substrate furimazin, the luminescent signal can now be read on a conventional luminometer. 